The United States Space Agency in 2013 revealed that the water in the Middle East region is decreasing or drying up. This water loss was studied from January 2003 to December 2009 using the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment GRACE, satellite. Reported by NASA.gov, scientists at the University of California, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, National Center for Atmospheric Research, found over a seven-year period beginning in 2003 that parts of Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran along the Tigris and Euphrates rivers lost 144 cubic kilometers of stored fresh water. The GRACE data show an alarming rate of decline in total water storage in the Tigris and Euphrates river basins, said Jay Famiglietti, principal investigator at the University of California Irvine. Taken from various sources, the reason for the drying up of the Euphrates River is due to the Ataturk Dam. This dam was built to be used as a power plant and irrigation provider for agricultural land. About 90% of the annual discharge of the Euphrates River comes from Turkey, while the rest comes from Syria and Iraq. In mid-January 1990, the first phase of construction of the dam was completed, Turkey withheld the entire flow of the Euphrates River for a month to start filling the reservoir. Prophet Muhammad said, Al Furat is almost open with, contains, gold deposits. Whoever comes to him should never take it. The Hadith describes an event that occurred on the Euphrates River at one time that would make people commotion. It is known that a number of major events have occurred in the longest river in West Asia. Near the Euphrates River, there was a massacre of the descendants of the Prophet. Until now wars and tragedies continue in areas along the Euphrates. If you turn the pages of history back, the war between Iraq and Iran took place near the Euphrates River. Muslim scholar from Turkey, Muhammad Fethullah Gulen explained that the Hadith uses metaphorical sentences. Where there are possibilities that prove the area will be very real. Fethullah gave an example, for example, at one time the water of the Euphrates River will become very expensive until its value is equal to the price of gold. Or maybe one day the value of the resources produced by the Euphrates River after being explored will equal the value of gold. Or maybe what happens is that someday in the Euphrates River there will be oil wells or gold mines. But one thing is certain, namely that the mention of the Euphrates River by the Prophet Muhammad actually points to the dangers contained in its potential so that it resembles a time bomb that threatens the world Islam, because the Prophet Muhammad said at the end of the Hadith, whoever experiences it, then don't take anything from it, explained Fathullah in his translated book entitled Prophet Muhammad's Eternal Light, The Pride of Humanity. According to Fathullah Gulen, everything that has been explained has not happened until now, because everything is a prediction of the future. However, when it becomes a reality, people will know the truth of the Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. Humanity will testify to the truth of the Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad and Muslims will feel a new energy in faith.